Hi guys, Chris here with Physio Training and the Prevention of Injuries video of the week. Last week we worked on our shoulders. Today I look a little bit more on the professional side, so we're going to talk a little bit about your neck and how to prevent injuries on your neck. Now throughout this week I posted some things online in regards to the weight of your head when you are doing certain functional movements. So for example, looking on your phone, your head will now be weighting approximately 40 to 60 pounds rather than 12 pounds when it's on top of your body. Now, before I show you the exercises, I want to show you something very interesting. Meet my motto. <laughs> oh, there goes its arm. Okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter because guess what? I just want to show you the back here. You see this? These are your traps, right? See your trap muscles right here? Those that people squeeze, those that muscles, you know, big guys have big muscles. Okay, those are great. But they're not only the ones that are working when your head is forward looking on the phone. These little guys here, okay, we have services, capitals, all these weird names, okay, we have scalings, you have all these little guys that are working super hard to keep your neck in place. We're going to teach how to strengthen those conservatively, but that you can go ahead and, and continue your workouts and maybe work a little bit on your posture when you're on the phone, okay? Stay tuned. Next. All right, guys, so back here for the exercise or the prevention act activities for your neck issues. So the first prevention we have to do is to avoid looking down on the phone when you are doing your social media or whatever it is that you do, okay? The idea is, is if your phone is like this and you're going down, you will have issues no matter how good your prevention is, no matter none of that. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to address. You need to bring the phone over. Your neck needs to be straight and ahead. Your head needs to be on top of your shoulders, not in front of your shoulders. So that's number one. The next thing that I want you to be familiar with, and of course, no pain should be illicit with this, is you need to be stretching, okay, on a regular basis without too much pain, your traps, your levator scapula, and your rhomboids, which is pulling apart like this. Feels wonderful. We'll do it again. You want to hold about 30 seconds. Put your hand behind you. That's for your traps. Look into your armpit. That's for your levator scapula back here. And last but not least, pull it away. Get your arms, your upper back rounded. And hold that for 30 seconds. And those are your stretches you want to do morning, night, and any time during the day that you feel uncomfortable. Okay? Okay, guys, so for this video for the exercises of the neck prevention, we're going to use what we call isometric exercises. Here, these are prevention activities. I'm not sure what you might have on your neck, but for certain, if you can get your muscles to contract without a lot of movement, you'll start getting some healing in there, some blood, some new fresh stuff in there without aggravating your neck. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is what we call very light resistance isometrics. The resistance is actually your hands, okay? And you're going to very gently push as if you're flexing. You're going to push against your hand for five seconds. You guys can see my muscles contracting. You're gonna stop, you're gonna do the one on the side. You're gonna see the muscles contracting. Stop, the one in the back. Stop, on the other side. Stop. These are not very strong pushes. They're very subtle and they're just to get some muscles contracting and you'll be surprised the relief it gives. All right. So upon reviewing these exercises, which are called slight resistance isometrics, if you have something that you're resisting against, like your hands and it's bothering you, then you're either pushing too hard or squeezing too hard. Try to do it without it. Okay. So these activities that get muscles um, contracting, getting blood in there will actually be very preventive for you, will help you healing, will expedite your healing. And then focus on your posture so that you're not looking down on the phone. And last but not least, if you're already doing this part and you already feels good and you feel like you could actually get a little bit more strengthening in there, you might be a, a, a fighter or someone who needs that neck, then you can take our favorite ball, you can put against a surface that doesn't move and you shall push against the ball okay just with the neck and relax now ladies and gentlemen the ball does have air which makes it hotter than your hands so be careful with that good luck
Hit me up if you need it. Bye.